Hello there, my name is Liz Bancroft-Turner, I'm the project manager at IOHK. I recently joined this team to work on these exciting projects. My career has spanned over the last 15 years and I've worked in various industries, including financial services and technology. Today I'm going to tell you what Project Shelley is all about and what its overall goal is. To start with, I'll explain how the project is made up of, of a number of key work streams, together detailing the key deliverables. Then I'll move on to the high-level roadmap, which will describe the project phases and timeline. Finally, I'm going to provide an update on the Shelley testnet and what to expect next. So what is Shelley? It's a path to full decentralization in Cardano. So to give you some context, we're currently in the Byron phase, which establishes the baseline for Cardano and allowing users to trade and transfer ADA. So Shelley is one of the development phases of Cardano and it's focused on ensuring that key elements are in place so that the technology grows into a fully decentralized and autonomous system. The network is currently operating in a bootstrap node for a period of time called the bootstrap era. During this time the stake is automatically delegated to a pool of trusted nodes that will maintain the network and no block rewards will be issued nor transaction fees collected. The bootstrap era will lead to the reward era during which updates to the protocol will be issued. So to summarize, the primary goal of the Shelley release is to upgrade the network no protocol to operate in a decentralized fashion. So as a result, Cardano will no longer be dependent on OIHK and other bootstrap stakeholders to maintain the network. So we have a number of work streams within the Shelley project. They consist of delegation, incentives and networking. So delegation allows the stakeholders to delegate their right and obligation to sign blocks to a third party. So it's convenient because they don't have to run their own node and it's good for the stability of the system because everybody running their own node would not be too good. We would expect some nodes to be offline a lot unless they operated professionally, which not every user will put the effort into. We then have the incentives work stream and this is about providing stakeholders with the monetary incentives to follow the protocol and make the system run smoothly. So on a high level, the goal of the incentives mechanism is to incentivize stakeholders to follow the protocol and thereby guaranteeing secure and efficient operation. We want to design an incentive scheme that ensures that it is in each person's self-interest to behave in a way that makes the overall system work in a stable and reliable way. This includes having appropriate rewards for operating for nodes, incentives to delegate stake, a mechanism to set transaction fees and more. So incentive schemes are very delicate and it is easy to accidentally create unintended outcomes. So the incentive scheme is to be based on sound foundation of mathematics, game theory and economic theory. Uh, we have the networking work stream, which is to provide the network infrastructure to support decentralization. So in order for the system to work in a decentralized network, we need to guarantee performance so that we can ensure that blocks can permeate the network within the slot length. So then we have uh, a number of key deliverables within each one of those work streams we've just mentioned. So starting with delegation, we have the research paper. And this establishes how the delegation can be performed in a way that satisfies all our requirements. And some examples of those requirements that we've documented are how rewards can be given to the people delegating, how stake pools can recover if keys are compromised, um, how can we make sure that the security of your funds does not get compromised if you delegate. So there are a number of security, uh, convenience and reward considerations that need to be further discussed and thought out. We then have the design document which specifies and details how the scheme proposed in the research paper can be implemented in Cardano will make sure that the design of the delegation is compatible with the uh, envisioned incentives mechanism. We then have the detailed technical implementation plan, which breaks down the design into user stories and tasks for the developers to implement. And then we have the development of the delegation, which is um, your core front and back. And all three are changes to different parts of the existing system to support delegation. We then move on to the incentives and we have the research paper, which is a study, uh, a mathematical model, which explains why the proposed mechanism 
will or should work. We then have the incentives design document, which explains the technical details of how to actually implement the mechanism. So the research paper explains the, the why. Why does our proposed mechanism actually work? Or rather, why do we think it will work? And to this end, we try to prove mathematically that if everybody tries to maximize his or her reward, the outcome will be desired configuration. So in order to prove this, we have to extract away from many real world issues. Like for example, we look at the simplified mathematical model and then study how it evolves. So we try to look at this, the essence of our mechanism ignoring the technical details and study how under lots of assumptions, for example, that all people are rational, the system will settle into the desired configuration. We then um, have more from a design doc purpose is to explain the, mecha the mechanism in a way that will allow engineers to implement the mechanism. So a second purpose might be to explain to our management and also to the general public how it actually works. So to summarize, the research paper models our mechanism in the abstract way and gives mathematical arguments why the mechanism should work. Uh, as is typical for mathematical papers, it ignores a lot of the real world complications and tries to concentrate on the essentials. And the design document, on the other hand, gives all the technical details how to actually implement the mechanism, but does not care about why it will or should work. We then move on to the network and we have a number of key deliverables here. So starting with the peer-to-peer, -peer, peer discovery is a base of which you build a decentralized system. So the peer discovery system formally an implementation of the Catamelia protocol with a few ad hoc extra features uh, has been rewritten. It's still based on Catamelia but does not have features unnecessary for the purpose. Uh, for our purposes and includes changes to address well-known security flaws in the original design. We then move on to the delta Q measurements and this is all about the performance of the network. How well can we move data around? So the delta Q work is intended to inform local choices about network topology um, in such a way that the topology will be expected to give maximum performance. We then have the communication protocol and here we want to simplify the internode communication protocol. We want to move away from the synchronous request, re request response and we want to have a publisher that sends out blocks and subscribers who are listening for them. So it's, just, it's more than just blocks here. It, it includes transactions, your update proposals and votes, delegation messages, etc. Uh, we have the uh, core diff design, which is essentially improving the communication quality between the major stakeholders uh, to make sure the blockchain is more robust against attacks. We then um, move on to the Shelley high-level roadmap, which consists of three phases. They are the research phase, the design phase, and the implementation phase. So with the research phase, um, we have the delegation and the incentives research paper which were almost complete on both of those papers. So we're expected Q2 for 2018 of this year. And then moving on to the design, we have a number of key deliverables. So we have the delegation and incentives design document, which we're currently working through and making good progress. We've got the detailed technical implementation plan of how we're going to deliver that. Uh, and then we have a number of networking design documents uh, peer discovery design, delta Q measurements, communication protocol and core diff. And you'll see that where the checked uh, boxes are, they are currently work in progress um, or nearly finished. So we're making very good progress there. And then we've got the implementation phase, which we're expecting in Q3 of this year. And that's the delegation and incentives, core front and back end. And then we have the networking deliverables uh, peer discovery, delta Q measurements, communication protocol, and the core diff. We have the Shelley test net, uh, which I know there's been various communications about. So the state pool registration window closed at the end of May. The team continues to focus on research programs, and we anticipate the Shelley test net for uh, staking to arrive towards the end of Q3 based on current progress. So thank you to all those who registered. 
We will aim to connect to registered parties in due course. And in the meantime, if you're eager to get your hands on playing with functionality, why not visit the Gogan Testnet page where you can experiment with Spark contracts. This site will also be the home for future test next, including Shelley. So what's next? So in the future, you can expect monthly updates on progress made and what's coming next down the line. I'll also share with you what feedback and suggestions we've received and what we're going to do to address them and provide you with any important dates and events for Shelley for your diary. So that's all for me now. Um, thank you for listening. And remember, if you have any feedback or suggestions, please do get in touch via the email below. Goodbye for now and see you next month. Thank you.